I don't have anything to hide. You know, I mean, I, I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to fear. It was hard to take, man. I mean, I've had to, I've had to pray a lot, and I've had to uh, call on the Lord a lot, call on my friends a lot, my family. Yeah, it was hard. It was the hardest thing I've ever been through in my life. Bart Rager addressing the allegations against him and his company for the first time. In an 11 minute video with Dulcifino Consulting, Bart Rager breaks his silence on the fraud allegations Ford Motor brought against his company nearly a year ago. Our Emily Harrison joins us now. Emily Rager Dykes claims he has no idea what was going on. In the video, Bart Rager says there was corruption within their finances, but says he knew nothing about it. And that days before Ford Motor Credit came in to close down their dealership, they were praising him after a routine audit of their inventory. They were telling me, thank you, Bart. You're a great dealer. You're one of the best dealers we have. Let's celebrate your success. From celebration to court. Come back three weeks later after they do a quarterly audit that they told me was great. And all of a sudden, I'm on vacation halfway across the world and tell me I'm, I owe him $40 million. Bart Rager claims he had nothing to do with the fraud leveled against him by banks and Ford Motor Credit. Now that I've had almost 11 months to figure out what went wrong, what went wrong was there was a, a lot of things going on in the financial area of our business that were corrupt. This comes just days after former Chief Financial Officer Shane Smith accepted a plea deal for felony wire fraud, something Rager puts solely on Smith. I'm still confused about why he would do anything to put us in this position other than greed or if there was somebody that he was taking direction from besides me. Rager blames himself for not being more aware of what was going on, but says in the end it's him and his company that are the victims. For us to be in the situation where we are now, I don't, I don't know who owns these cars out here. I know I don't own them. I don't know who owns these buildings here right now. I don't own them anymore. I've never tried to do anything but good for Lubbock, West Texas, the car business, Ford Motor Company. Full video on our website at everythinglubbock.com.